Hello and welcome back. This is the American Senate Privationist. Today we're going to talk about Pope Pius XII. Pope Pius XII teaches the baptism of desire. He specifically teaches it in an official allocution to the midwives on the nature of their profession. Quote, an act of love can suffice for an adult to obtain sanctifying grace and a supply for the absence of baptism. For the unborn child or the newly born, this way is not open. End quote. This quotation is found within the Acta Apostolice Sedis, the official gazette of the Holy See. AAS 43, 1951, 853 through 854. This quote represents a massive problem, or presents a massive problem, I should say, for the Fenites, because it is an act of the ordinary magisterium teaching the baptism of desire. If one denies that the allocutions are not vehicles of the ordinary magisterium, it is to be reminded that Pope Pius IX used allocutions on multiple occasions to condemn and expose errors to the universal church. Many of those condemnations ended up in the syllabus of errors, so that goes to show that papal allocutions are authoritative. If one is still not convinced that papal allocutions are not authoritative, then look to the papal teaching of Pope Pius XII. It is an encyclical Humani Generis, quote, if in their acta, that is, the official documents of the popes, the supreme pontiffs take care to render a decision on a point that has hitherto been controverted, it is obvious to all that this point, according to the mind and will of these same pontiffs, can no longer be regarded as a question theologians may freely debate among themselves." End quote. The Pope makes authoritative doctrinal decisions in his official documents, usually the Acta Apostolice Sedis. The matter at hand, the rejection of the baptism of desire, has never been controverted by theologians. But this quote serves as proof that the official documents of the Holy See are authoritative. An objection may be that these allocutions are not infallible, but such an objection is not the issue here. Rather, a Fenite is forced to say that an official document of the ordinary magisterium is teaching a previously condemned error. If one does not accept the fact that this is ordinary magisterium, they still must admit that the official documents of the Holy See, the Acta Apostolice Sedis, teaches previously condemned error. Suddenly, the Fenite is forced to agree with the SSPX that the official documents of the Holy See or its official authority can be a means of damnation. This runs contrary to the indefectibility of the Church and the definitions of the Vatican Council. Answering an objection to the Diamond Brothers, quote, from the Diamond Brothers, in fact, in a November 22, 1951 speech to the members of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, Pope Pius XII repeatedly taught that the Earth is billions of years old. Quote of Pope Pius XII, Thus, this energy, in the course of billions of years, is slowly but irreparably transformed into radiation. End quote. That's completely wrong. This is, again, the quote from the Diamond Brothers. It's another example of why it's crucial to distinguish between what popes teach with the full weight of the office and what they might say in other capacities, end quote. What the Diamond Brothers fail to mention is that the Pope Pius XII was not making a doctrinal decision on the age of the earth. He later admits in the same speech that the facts of natural sciences still need further research and confirmation. Quote, the pertinent facts of the natural sciences to which we have referred are awaiting still further research and confirmation, and the theories founded on them are in need of further development and proof before they can provide a sure foundation for arguments which, of themselves, are outside the proper sphere of the natural sciences." End quote. The 
The Diamond Brothers have further distortions on this topic, but I will stop here. St. Dominic, pray for us. St. Thomas Aquinas, pray for us. Our Lady, destroyer of heresies, pray for us. <laughs>